Hi, I'm Jess Sadeo. Welcome to Talkin' Trash with Jess. Today we are going to be talking about what we accept for recycling and doing a very basic why you can and can't put things in the bin. We're going to start with what you can and cannot recycle in Spartanburg County and the city of Spartanburg. The city of Spartanburg operates what we call a single stream recycling program, which means that all of your recyclables go into the bin together. It does not mean that your recyclables and trash go into the bin together. In Spartanburg County, what we operate is what we call a dual stream program, which means that some materials go into one bin and other materials go into another bin. That's how we handle recyclables. And again, that's separate from your trash at all Spartanburg County recycling centers as well. So, what do we take for recycling? We always say that we take paper, cardboard, plastic containers, aluminum cans, and steel cans, as well as cartons. Those are the items that we accept for recycling, but let's break it down a little bit. What we call commingled materials includes plastic containers, all plastic containers, number one through seven, all right? But let's keep it simple. You don't even have to check. If it's plastic, if it's a container, go ahead and put it in the bin. These are all examples of plastic containers that we accept for recycling. We also take aluminum cans and steel cans. A lot of people call these tin cans. They are not made out of tin. They're made out of steel. So aluminum cans and steel cans we accept for recycling. We also take all cartons. That's aseptic packaging cartons like uh, soy milk, like chicken broth, things like that. We do accept for recycling. It has to go in with commingle because it's processed as a plastic before all the paper is removed and processed later on in the system. For our purposes, consider this a plastic because the lining of the carton contains a thin plastic layer that has to be processed for recycling. So put it in with your plastics. The second part of the dual stream system in Spartanburg County's recycling process is what we call paper and cardboard. All paper in Spartanburg County is accepted for recycling. That includes newspaper, it includes office paper, white paper, sticky notes, envelopes, catalogs, junk mail, boxes, paperboard boxes, what we call these things, regular cardboard boxes. We do want you to break those down, please. Any kind of paper is accepted for recycling in Spartanburg County and the city of Spartanburg's recycling process. In Spartanburg County Recycling Centers, we also accept cooking oil for recycling, motor oil for recycling, motor oil filters, lead acid batteries, and in limited recycling centers, we take scrap metal, we take electronics, and at the Welford Landfill, we recycle tires as well as yard waste like brush leaves and limbs. The next part of the process is what we don't accept for recycling at Spartanburg County Recycling Centers and the city of Spartanburg's blue bin. The things that you cannot put in our system for recycling include plastic bags and plastic film. You can take these to grocery stores. Most grocery stores do have a box out front where you can recycle those, but please don't put these in your bin at all for Spartanburg County or the city of Spartanburg. We don't accept aluminum foil in our program. We don't accept any kind of weird packaging that you can't identify. You don't know if this is made out of plastic or foil. So what is it exactly? Don't put it in. When in doubt, throw it out. Just throw these away. We don't accept styrofoam in our program for recycling. We don't accept napkins, paper plates, or anything that could be contaminated with food too much and get gross and sloppy and greasy. We don't want that kind of material in our system. You might ask yourself, do you take pizza boxes for recycling? Let's just make it easy. When in doubt, throw it out. If it looks a little bit greasy, see on the bottom, throw that part of the box out and cut off the cleaner top part and recycle that cardboard. We do not accept glass for recycling in our system. Some people often ask, do you need to remove the lids? Do you need to leave the lids on? Do you need to rinse your recyclables? The answer is you can keep the lids on or you can remove them. Just make it easy on yourself and just give your recyclables a quick rinse, like a milk jug, just give it a quick rinse. You don't have to make it clean. You don't have to wash it out. If it's a peanut butter jar, you don't have to worry about getting all the peanut butter out. Just give it a quick rinse with your kitchen sink sprayer and put that in the recycling bin as is. Because Spartanburg County is a program where you have to bring your own materials to us. We don't provide bins, but we don't care how you sort and separate your materials at home as long as you use the dual stream process at our recycling centers. You can put your recyclables in a bin like this and then take it to the Spartanburg County Recycling Center and separate it when you get to our site or you can do a little system at home where you sort and separate your paper away from your plastic containers, aluminum cans, steel cans, and cartons, and then take it to our site as is. The only thing that we ask is if you use a grocery bag or a garbage bag for recyclables, that you open the bag and dump the materials loose into our bins. We don't want bag materials because bag materials do not get recycled. 
<coughs> if you have questions about specific items, if you want to know more detail about why we can and can't accept things a certain way, or if you have an odd item that you just want to check on, please feel free to email or call us. Thank <laughs> you.